Oh well, let's try a little piece of chicken and a little bit of the gravy. Of course, I'm gonna have this with some rice, but uh, just want to give it a little taste right now. Let's see what we got. Mm -mm -mm. I love me a good chicken stew. So for lunch today, I'm making a chicken fricassee, and to do that, we're gonna add. Uh, we're gonna use a whole chicken cut up, and we're gonna start it off by making a roux. This is one and a third cups of vegetable oil. And I got my pan, uh, my pot pretty hot. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and add the, this is one and a half cups of all purpose flour. So it's pretty, pretty big size uh, fricassee. And uh, go ahead and get you a whisk or a, a big spoon and uh, keep stirring it. And we're gonna make a nice brown roux. All right, been about two minutes. Roux's all done. Well, not not quite. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and time it. It's gonna take a while for a roux. Probably a good uh, 20 to 30 minutes. So let me just cook it on low, stir stir it often so it doesn't burn, and uh, get it to about a color of a uh, a penny. Now, well, this is the the cut up chicken, and if you if you had legs or thighs or just thighs or even just chicken breast, you can make it. Uh, basically you want four pounds of meat so this is a one teaspoon of uh, salt I think that'll be plenty to start off with we're going to use a half a teaspoon of some cayenne pepper give it a little heat you know I'm going to mix this up really good after we're going to use a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and we're going to use uh, not quite a half yeah, I guess we use about a half half a teaspoon of some black pepper and that's that's pretty much all for the seasonings I'm gonna use uh, as it cooks I'll uh, I'll taste the gravy you know towards the end uh, and uh, you know add some more if I need to but this will get it started all right believe it or not this took around 50 minutes of course I was doing other things cutting up the chicken stuff like that so once you get the uh, sauce browned this is one medium onion stalk of celery one medium bell pepper and one clove of garlic go ahead and add all that to it and uh, as soon as you add the vegetables that'll make the roux uh, stop cooking so you need to get it to your brownness level before you add any of that and let's go ahead and mix this up where it's nice and blended and also add a half of a tablespoon of uh, paprika to it we're not going to brown anything we're just uh, going to go ahead and get the water incorporated into it now and we're going to add uh, this is my uh, my water's hot on the back stove so that's one cup two cup three cup four cups and it's very I want to see how thick it was going to be before I added the rest of it and uh the water I'm using is actually uh I ha I've been having it on a, a simmer on the back stove we're going to add the rest of the water and that's a total of uh, three quarts of water and we're going to let this simmer for 30 minutes and the reason I, I did the water that way you don't have to wait for it to come up to a boil it's pretty much already there so go ahead and cook this for 30 minutes we've been cooking about 30 minutes and by the way get you a spoon that's square on the end it's real good for cooking stews and whatnot especially when you're making a roux. So that's how our gravy looks currently. Nice and thick. That's gonna, uh, that's gonna get a little thinner when we add the chicken. So at this point, we'll go ahead and add the, uh, the raw seasoned chicken. And uh, I like to keep everything pretty big, you know, like the breast. I usually cut the breast in three pieces and uh, I leave the bone in it. The only bone I don't keep in is the, uh, the ribs and the backbone. 
because I find it cooks apart. Then it gets all over in, in your uh, in your gravy when you're trying to eat it. So I usually cut those all out, but uh, you can certainly leave them if you want. And for the wings, I, I just cut the very end of the tip off. Uh, you could have made it akimbo if you wanted to, but I just cut that off. And uh, like I said, we'll add seasoning if we need to. But you always got to adjust their, your uh, seasoning a little bit. And basically, we're going to simmer this until the, the chicken is nice and tender. I'll go ahead and time it. I'm thinking probably, oh Lord, at least an hour. I mean, it's going to take a little while. Uh, so, yeah, just let it simmer. I'm going to go ahead and cover it. And uh, we'll check it. Uh, I think at 45 minutes, it'll probably be safe to check it. The chicken sh should be cooked enough. And then, uh, like I said, we'll, I'll adjust the seasoning. And then uh, just cook the chicken until it's tender. So it's been uh, 45 minutes uh, on a slow simmer. Uh, went ahead and gave it a taste. Uh, garlic, the garlic's good in it. I went. This is a. I added a fourth of a teaspoon of cayenne and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and get that mixed up, and then I'll give it another taste and uh, see if we need to add some, anything else to it. And it still needs a little bit more salt. So this is another fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And I'm going to let this cook another, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. Then I'll taste it again and, and adjust as I need to. But uh, for now, that's all I'm going to do. Like I said, you can always add salt at the table, but it's hard to take it away if it's too salty. So I, I always try to make sure I don't over salt it. Same with pepper. I mean, you add too much pepper, it's kind of hard to, to get it out. So... All right, so there's been an hour and uh, 15 minutes, and here's my uh, chicken. This is one of the thighs, and you know the it's pretty much there. I mean, it's it's uh it's almost to the point where it's gonna fall off the bone, which I don't really want to get to that point. But I mean, you can see it's just it's totally done. I mean, so that's it. That's uh that's how to make a chicken fricassee. Uh, basically, it's just a chicken stew. <laughs> Forget to say just a fancy name to, 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 to say stew really but uh yeah chicken stew and uh yeah so there you go like I said uh I recommend taking the ribs out and the backbone because you don't want that all over in your gravy and uh just let it simmer like I said I added the chicken and I let it cook an hour and 15 minutes and it's that's the white meat and it's, it's done uh as it cools the grease will kind of float to the top and you can skim it off or just get some paper towels and put a layer and that'll get the grease off as well uh, you can also use a degreasing pitcher which is what I'll probably do and uh, but I'll let it sit for a few minutes before I try it because uh, a lot of it should start floating to the top but like I said I, I did leave the chicken skin on so it will have a little grease come up well thanks for watching if you enjoyed my video please subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up button thanks